Black Leo to your end of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Uh, first card already coming out is Uriel and the Sphinx. A couple of people have had this card, so let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> this card over here is Undiscovering Truths. As you can see, it takes a while over here to uh, uncover that sphinx from the dirt. So it's definitely talking about uncovering things. It's time for you to do the most important and possibly the most difficult work in your life. The digging and inner discovery that takes you to the deepest self and to your deepest power. Okay, and the next card coming out. Let's see what's going on over here. Kind of the situation. What are they undiscovering over here? The increscent moon. So there's definitely a gift that is coming towards you. You are trying to uncover this gift. It says you're almost there. It is time for you to receive your rewards. You just need to continue to keep digging right at what it is that's kind of holding you back, right? Uncovering these truths, which as it said, is not as easy as you think it's going to be, right? Um, it's not that easy. Um, but the Increscent Moon is a beautiful card. Uh, it is definitely talking about, see, that's the Six of Keys. Uh, this is talking about your efforts have combined with external circumstances, and even the stars have a line for you. If things have been financially tight, you are recently, or you recently relax. I'm sorry. If you have been financially tight, Then just relax. That's pretty much what it's saying. There is a great opportunity for increase and fulfillment in every way, financially, creatively, and even in your prestige. So that's very good. Okay, so it says, so just do your work and get ready to receive. And that's what it is. It's a card of receiving the gifts, receiving. But it's not just a gift. It's not just some karmic gift. It's, this is something you actually worked hard for, right? I mean, I worked hard for this, right? So... Ooh, what do we got? The Akashic Library. I've learned a lot. Learning a lot of lessons along the way to receive this and still learning now. Because remember, this is where the universe is saying, right? It's up to you to get it done. Don't prove to me. Prove to yourself. By you proving to yourself, you're proving to me. Right? You're not worried about what you can prove to him. The universe doesn't worry about that. They want to make sure you're proving it to yourself. You are more important at this time. You prove it to yourself, then I will reward you. Right, so you have the Akashic Library. You There's a lot of learning, a lot of studying, a lot of things going on around you, going straight into the purpose, moving you straight into the purpose. There's a difference in rewards. When we're moving ourselves into the purpose, is so different from just karmic rewards. So this isn't some, you know, something that I gave out. It says, be sure that you're on the lookout. Make sure that you do not allow anyone to take away your energy or, you know, tell you you cannot do this or that or the other and also watch out for yourself do not allow your ego mind to tell you things if it does make sure that you relax right just breathe it's okay stop settle down do it again right okay so and, and <laughs> your cover your treasure is here your treasure is here <clears throat> literally it's the card is in reverse so it's saying your treasure is here be on the lookout do not allow anyone to burn your ships over here and burn your ideas because your treasure is literally on its way. Like, literally, it's already, all you have to do is reach out and grab it. Um, it's literally on its way. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab these cards and see what's going on in this circumstance over here. Really learning over here. Got the King of Pentacles sideways. You solve your and other people's issues in practical ways. So, you know, it's like... The Ural Sphinx over here on the Increscent Moon is like, you got this gift coming, but make sure that you know what, you're so good at solving problems, you're going to solve this problem. That's pretty much what it's saying. You will solve this. You will get this luxury. You will get this, right? Um, and I am leaving it, oops, I am leaving it sideways because that is the way it should be, right? It came out that way on purpose because they're saying there's no greed, it's about what you're attaining with wealth. You're holding on to things that you need to hold on to, right? And you might be a little obsessed about the situation, okay? Because when it's sideways like that, it's saying, right? 
It's saying that you could be using both sides, the positives and the negatives. But that's okay in a lot of ways, though, guys, because in a lot of ways, that's what, you know, we're humans. That keeps us balanced. So it's saying you may be holding a little tight to the situation, okay, of this status and this, this wealth, right, because you have this idea. And you might be very stubborn about the situation, okay, but yet you're not letting it go because you have that security and that understanding of where it is you truly want to be and you can do all the things very practical and you're very stable in that situation. It doesn't bother me. I think that's a good thing. Okay. The Akashic Library says that we're learning a lot of things and a lot of things that come around you and you're learning your life purpose. You know, and it's like the books are there for you for a reason. But be careful of this devious person who could be around you. Okay. But it's also about making sure that you're using your own self-expression, right? Making sure that you understand the haphazardous actions around you. That's really why the lookout is here as well. Because you really could have a lot of gossip, a lot of haste, a lot of negativity rolling around you right now, right? And people might just be all talk or they just like, they think you're all talk, you know, ah, oh, your treasure coming, ha, ha, ha. It's like, you know, and just blow that off because those people need a lot of growth. They're very highly immature and spiritually very immature. Okay, so, and they could be the smartest person in the world. I'm not talking about earthbound intelligence or earthbound anything. I'm talking about spiritual. Anybody who talks like that shows they have no growth. Okay, so don't listen to them because, yes, this could be a painful ending that ends up happening to you. Um, but remember, what do I always say? It's not really happening to you. It's happening for you. Because if it doesn't happen, if, you know, if this devious person and you, you know, or end up walking away from each other, whether it's a friend, family, it doesn't matter because there is a painful ending over here. And but just be on the lookout for this person because it does feel like there's a lot of betrayal. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of shit going around, um, right? Because they might even feel like they're defeated. Do not allow yourself to feel defeated. I know it's going to hurt because it says, you know, it's ending. Doesn't mean that you won't still be sad about the situation. But what it's trying to tell you is with every good ending starts a new beginning. And this is where the treasure is coming in. So with every ending, we know a new door opens. And so Spirit is saying, I want you to really watch for this. Do not allow this ending to ruin you. Because if anything, it's it's its time. It's done its karmic cycle. This That's what it is. The soul contract's over. <laughs> and it's time for you to move on to better and clearer waters so that you can get your treasure. Whatever the situation is, you can't bring this person with you. Okay, because they have, they have lack. And where you're going, my friend, you have no lack. If you do not have a lack mindset, then you will grow. And it feels like with this person, they have self-esteem issues or they give you self-esteem issues. Maybe they give you five of pinnacles. They give you the lack mindset. They give you the lack of faith. They give you the, the financial loss. Spirit says, this is time for you to let this go so that you can open up the doors for something that is more beautiful for you and be who you need to be. You can't be with somebody who's always in lack because therefore you can't want something and be in the lack of mindset. I'm poor. Nothing ever happens for me. But I want, that's too bad. You have lack. You can't, you can't have that. It's self-sabotage. So the person that you're with or you're getting rid of, either they always have too much negativity and always bringing this negative mindset to you, therefore keeping you in lack. Spirit says it has to end so that you can get what you really want. You work too hard. You've dug out the Sphinx. You understand things. You worked hard for this. This isn't a karmic a reward. This is something you busted your ass for. But you have to get rid of this and it has to come to an end so that you can have the treasure, so that you can have the domestic happiness, so you can have the joy, the happiness, the real celebrations, the real freedoms, the real love, the real job. 
things that are meant for the real you. But see, deep down inside, you already know that. Don't tell me you don't. And I know you do. And for those of you who don't, I'm telling you now. <laughs> right? Now you know. So now you can't tell me you don't know because I just told you. You gotta love that, though, right? Because I love that. My grandma told me that once. And I have to use it because I just thought it was amazing. She was like, don't you tell me, Charmaine, that you didn't know that. I just told you. Like, oh, well, I didn't know that until now then. Jeez. She probably told me months ago and I probably blew it off, right? Because I was young and stupid. Okay, but <clears throat> we all been there. But the point is, is that this is the way the door is going to open. But you have to have the complete 100% understanding and the trans. Oh, my gosh. And I was just going to say, and the transformation. Woo. Sweetie, you know you're hot. I like fire. But yes, because it has to bring in the ending, get ready for it, for the new beginning. So what is it that the spirit, what, what is the Uriel and the Sphinx doing? The, the Uriel, the angel, the higher you, self, spirit guide, universe, whatever, is pushing you away for what no longer is serving you so that you can have what your purpose is. So with this, you know, could be a ter terrible, devastating ending. Um, is going to have this beautiful new blossoming beginning. Something that you would, that's secret, that you would never see coming. Oh my God. It's like, just stop, right? It's like, just, I got this. So yeah. So, but otherwise it says if you have fears and insecurities, see, this is why you couldn't grow anything. This is why you've been having a hard time growing shit. Is because when you live with somebody who's really negative or you're always dealing with somebody who's ne really negative you can't be with somebody who's always keeping you in lack mindset right and if it's not somebody and it's you then stop that shit make it end right but i'm telling you it's somebody because you wouldn't have all this pain if it was just yourself, I mean, what do you, I mean, you just like, you know, stop doing that. You know what I mean? You can learn to do that. But I'm telling you, there's somebody around you because it's saying that this is like, you know, devastating. It's not going to be that devastating if it's yourself. You're just going to be like, man, I'm freaking stupid. Why did I do that? Okay, now I have to reset. I'm not stupid. I'm very intelligent. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have to like reset, right? But the point is, is that you, it's not you. I know it's not you. It could even be a boss who holds you back, who tells you, you're never going to do this. You're never going to do that. Maybe you're going back to school to do something better. Maybe you're finding a new job. You're finding a new skill. However it is, you're having this brand new beginning of new possibilities where this leaf is turning. And when you un un have this treasure come and this is all done, this is going to be the whole new you. People won't even recognize you. Like, who the hell are you? Right? I don't even know who you are. Keep manifesting. Keep taking action because it is like magic. And you're going to feel like it's magic. And right now, if you look back, you know, a little bit, you might already see the magic happening. When you look back about six months to a year from now, and you actually have, when you, the treasure 100% comes in, you're going to realize, shit, I don't even, that was magic. And it happened fast. Why does it seem fast? Because when they see it from the past, it doesn't seem like it goes as slow as it actually does when we're watching the clock, right? You guys got this, and you're on a move. Yeah, because of the dedicated effort. You keep dedicating all your effort to the situation and to yourself for the higher purposes of what it is you're doing. This allows you to share the, oh, yeah, to share the love. This allows you to share the love of the situation within the powerful three within yourself, mind, body, soul, right, to find the balance. And the balance is right here is going to be the balance between what's the purpose now and the higher calling versus what I'm doing now. Right, because no matter what, you're still going to have to balance in between until the treasure actually comes. So the Spirit is saying, I just need you to stay really balanced within yourself, right? That way you can observe the situation and know exactly what's going on for yourself. So keeping your vitality and keeping yourself stable as you're seeking the truth and pulling back the veil. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, pulling back the veil and seeking the truth is still going to be uncovering that sphinx. Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're digging deep for the understanding. And the higher understanding of what it is, is what's bringing you towards that treasure. And the more you understand that, the more you're going to say, that's it. I got it. And then you become the emperor. And that's it. And that's, that's the truth. 
Why is it the truth? Because that's the way it has to be. Because that's what's really going on within life. That's what we always do, right? And then you can start the healing and all that stuff to bring in the love. Whether it's unconditional love to self, which you want to have anyways, right? Because we want to love ourselves before we love anything else anyways. Why? Because that keep, also keeps the balance. But it also keeps the heart chakra open. And it also keeps us with the rewards, joy, and stability. Okay? But that's really where the healing comes in. But I do see what the healing is going to be where this person, you know, is going to, has devastated you one way or another. However that situation is. Right? But just remember, one door closes so that another one opens. And you, my friends, are the key. Okay? If there is a lock, you're the key. You're the key to the Sphinx. The Sphinx is locked. Keep digging. Use that key. Till next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.